Hi! Today, I am delighted, indeed excited, to be able to talk about a fascinating topic, a cutting-edge technology, which is the Internet of Things. And so, to help me talk about this topic today, I'd like to answer seven different questions. First, what is the Internet of Things? Two, what do you mean by the things? And three, what are the key statistics about the Internet of Things? And four, what are the major components of the Internet of Things? And five, how does the Internet of Things work? And six, what are some of the key technologies that make the Internet of Things a reality? And seven, what are some of the real-world applications of the Internet of Things? And so, if you'd like to find out the answer to any of these questions, then please join us. Thank you. سموتي سلاما So I asked, what is the Internet of Things? Well, the Internet of Things is a network of interconnected physical devices. These devices are the things, which by the way could be anything. Now these devices can talk to each other can communicate and exchange data between each other, including in the case where the humans are not involved. Each thing is internet connected and has a sensor embedded into it. The sensor helps this thing to collect data from its surrounding environment. And also it helps it to communicate data with other things using the internet. Now, my friends, there's no one better in the world at explaining the Internet of Things than the inventor of the term Internet of Things, Kevin Ashton, back in 1999. You know, Internet of Things is a, a term that I coined in 1999. Okay, so let's watch Kevin Ashton talking about his great idea or his great invention of the term, just the term, the Internet of Things. Let's watch him. The Internet of Things is really adding, I guess, two components to computers as we understand it today. One is sensors, the ability for the computer to understand the world by itself. The other is networking. All those sensors can be distributed all over the place. They can be gathering different kinds of information in different locations. It all streams to the computer, which suddenly understands the world. And now to the next thing, which is what are these things? Let me give you examples. Your air conditioner is a thing. Your mobile phone is a thing. Your smart car is a thing. Your smart watch, your smart TV, your street, your kitchen, your fridge, your toothpaste, even you. The human, you could also be a thing. Okay, and now to the next thing. Let's talk about some of the key statistics about the Internet of Things. Let's start with the number of devices connected with the Internet of Things technology. You see, back in 2010, there were about a billion Internet of Things enabled devices. Now, this number has grown exponentially to the point that this, by the end of 2020, the number of the Internet of Things enabled devices is projected to reach 30 billion devices. 30 billion devices, that's such a huge number. Now I know some of you are business oriented people and they might say, well how does this translate in terms of money? In terms of money, my friends, let's take a look at the global market value of the Internet of Things. By the end of 2020, this market is projected to reach 7.1 trillion US dollars. 7.1 trillion, that is a trillion. You know how many zeros are there in one trillion? That is one with 12 zeros. That is huge, my friends, that's lots of money. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, I'd be set up for life for just one trillion. And I'm sure that would be enough for me and my grand, 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 grandchildren. 
How much money do you think there would be enough for you to get you set up for life? Let me know in the comments. And now to the fourth point which is about the Internet of Things major components. The Internet of Things is made up of the thing itself, which could be your air conditioner, for example, and a sensor embedded into that thing. And then these things talk to each other or exchange data with other things or with the human using the Internet. So there is a triangle. There is the thing, the sensor, and the Internet. And that's the major components of the Internet of Things, in my personal view. And of course, this is a debatable issue. Okay, and now to the most important thing, which is, how does the Internet of Things work? Now, of course, this is a scientifically debatable issue, but I would think of it as a protocol. And hence, in my opinion, there are four major steps, just four. So first of all, in the first step, which is the data collection step, you see, the thing which has a sensor embedded into it, this sensor senses the surrounding environment, collects data from the surrounding environment, and the sensor detects changes in the surrounding environment. So, for example, there could be a change in the temperature. So, this is about data collection. In the second step, now the thing can exchange this collected data in real time. It could exchange this data either with other things or with the humans using the internet, of course. So you see, the internet of things uses the internet to exchange data. And now to the third step, which is about processing this data. You see, the thing that receives the data or the human, first, they process this data. They get rid of the, all the unwanted data, the garbage data, and only just the valuable data are extracted using lots of processing techniques. Here we could use the artificial intelligence, we could use many other technologies to process the data. And finally, in step four, thank God at one point or the other, the human would pretty much want to look at this data. And so in the final step, which is about the data presentation. So now the valuable data is presented to the user using nice graphs or by charts or things like that. Here's something really interesting. Now, my friends, I find the year nine to be an amazing year, a lucky year, a magical number. Think about this. The Internet of Things, the term, the concept of the Internet of Things, just the, the term of the Internet of Things was coined, invented back in 1999. 10 years before that, exactly in 1989, the web was invented. 20 years before the web invention, back in 1969, the internet as we know it today was invented. So you see, this number 9 is a lucky number, it's a magical number. 1969, the internet was invented. 1989, the web was invented. 1999, the term Internet of Things was coined. And now to the sixth part, which is let's talk about some of the technologies that make the Internet of Things a reality. They make it alive, they make it possible. Okay, we're going to talk about these technologies just really briefly, just to give you an idea of what they are. They're not the focus of this video. So, technology number one, the internet, of course. The internet. Without the internet, the internet things could not have existed. You see, without the internet, the web could not have existed. And without the internet, the internet of things could not have existed. And of course, many other things could not have existed without the internet. And technology number two, the sensors is some examples of the sensors, okay? And these sensors are really tiny devices which are embedded into the thing. And they help this thing sense the surrounding environment. And they help this thing to exchange data with other things or with the human using the internet, of course. The third technology is the Pluto technology. You all know Pluto, right? For example, our airbots, our smartwatches, many, many other devices that use the Pluto to communicate and talk with each other. And now to the fourth technology, which is the NFC or the Near Field Communication Technology. Now, this is an amazing technology which enables two devices to talk to each other or to exchange data within a four centimeter range. 
a prominent example of this, you know when you go to the supermarket and you buy stuff and you wanna pay with your smart card. Now most of these smart cards nowadays they come with the with NFC enabled. You just position your card near the card reader and that's it. The payment data is exchanged and the money is paid to the supermarket. Okay? And now the fifth technology, which is a QR or the barcodes. You find lots of these in the supermarket again, right? Which is a machine readable tag positioned or embedded in these on the on the on the side of these items, which enables the card reader to read them, right? And now to the sixth technology, which is the RFID technology. RFID stands for radio frequency identification. Now this is an amazing technology which uses electromagnetic fields to read data stored in tags and these tags are embedded in different items. And then there is the technology which is Wi-Fi and of course we know what Wi-Fi is. And finally there is the satellite technology. وكنت الأمان سلاما سلاما بلادي سموتي سلاما عمان لكل ما فيه خير عمان